Hi everyone, welcome back to episode 2 of our series of Code.org's Minecraft Hour of Code. Today we're going to start on puzzle 3. We'll take a look at a couple puzzles. Let's go ahead and get started. So puzzle 3 of 14. Sheep shearing time. Use the shear command to gather wool from both sheep. So shear. This is important. It's in quotes again. Okay. Okay, so we didn't start with any blocks this time. Just our win run block. Let's look at what blocks we have. Move forward, turn left, turn right, and our new block, shear. So I think we're all familiar with what shearing does in Minecraft. That takes the wool from the sheep. Okay, so something we didn't talk about last time, we'll look at here. Workspace, all right? So this is the area we're working in. We looked at that. One of seven blocks. So with each puzzle, there's an additional challenge of trying to complete it within some number of blocks. So we want to do this using no more than seven blocks. When we're programming, it's important to try to use generally as few commands as possible to accomplish your task. So this is tying into that challenge a little bit. Using less commands usually means your program will run faster. It will take less resources. That'll make everybody happy. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. So we have a sheep straight in front of Steve. And we know from last time that move using the move forward will move forward one block in whichever direction Steve is facing. So let's look at how many blocks we need to move. One, two. Okay, so let's add two move forward blocks. One, two. Okay, so Steve should be standing in front of the sheep now. Let's test this. So run, one, two. Excellent. Steve moved forward to the sheep. He's not happy because we didn't get the wool, but that's okay. We're just testing. It's important to test your programs as you write them. Make sure they're doing what you expect them to do. Okay, so we know we moved Steve forward. Moved one, two blocks, and he's standing in front of the sheep. All right, so let's go ahead and shear this sheep. Okay. Let's make sure that that works. So let's run again. One, two, shear. All right, we got the wool. Steve's still not happy because he wants the wool from both sheep. Okay, well, all right, Steve, fine. We'll get you the wool from both sheep. Okay, so Steve is standing here. And we know that Steve only walks the direction he's facing. We know we're going to have to turn Steve. Okay, so we need to make him face down. So if we were Steve, we would have to turn... Which direction? Hmm. We'd have to turn to the right. Okay, so let's turn right. Alright, so Steve should be looking down now. Looks like he's one block away from the sheep still. So let's move one block forward. So Steve should be standing in front of the sheep. And we'll want to shear that sheep, I think. So let's go ahead and reset this. And let's run it again. All right, let's move forward, shear the sheep, turn right, move forward, shear the sheep, and we got both wool. Excellent, and Steve is happy, look at him dance. All right, puzzle three completed, congratulations. We wrote just six lines of code. Wait, we did it in six? We did it in even less than the seven, is that right? Seven of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, so it's going to count the win run block for us. So we only used six lines of code to do this, but it's going to count the win run block. So that's important for us to remember when we're trying to beat these challenges. Let's go ahead and let's just run it again so we can get our, our little happy finish again. Okay, so I had a lot of fun with that puzzle. We wrote 25 lines of code all together. We did six lines of code for this puzzle. Let's take a look at our code. Move forward, move forward, shear, turn right, move forward, and shear. Hey, that's pretty good. That looks just like the blocks that we added. Okay, let's take a look at the next puzzle. Puzzle four of 14. We need to build a house. Okay. B 
before the sun goes down. That seems like a good idea. It can get dangerous in Minecraft at night. Yeah. Houses require a lot of wood. That's true. I have to cut down a lot of trees. Cut down all three trees. Whoa. We have to cut down three trees? We only did one tree before. Okay. Well, this sounds like fun. Okay, so they gave us some code to start with. That could be helpful. All right, how many blocks? 15, but they've already used seven of them. Ooh, okay. So that only gives us eight more blocks to finish this in, and we have to get all three trees. Hmm, okay. Well, let's see what the program they gave us does first. All right, so move forward. Move forward, move forward. So I think that'll move Steve forward three blocks. One, two, three. Okay. So we might move to this tree. Destroy block. Okay. So punch the tree. That might get us some wood. Turn left and move forward. So turn left. So he's going to face up and move forward. It's going to put him somewhere. Okay, well, let's run the program and see what happens. Let's test it. All right, so move forward, move forward, move forward. Punch the tree, turn left, move forward. Okay. Oh, sad Steve. All right, so we need to get the other two trees. All right, so if Steve stopped here, we're not to the tree yet, so we know we need to move forward. How many blocks do we need to move forward? Let's see, one, two. Okay, so we need to move two blocks forward. Right, so one, two, Boy, this, there's a lot of move forwards in here. Hmm, it'd be nice if we could, we could somehow just repeat those. Well, maybe we'll learn about that later. Okay. So let's, okay, so we should be in front of the tree. Let's, let's try punching that tree. All right, so destroy block to get the wood. Okay, so we should get that tree. Let's test. Let, let's make sure that works. Okay, move forward. Get the, all right, so we got that tree. Turn left. Move forward, move forward, move forward. Yep, okay. Just, all right, so we got the second tree. I know, Steve. We'll get it, I promise. Okay, so now we need to get the other tree. Hmm. Okay. So we need to turn Steve again. So if he's facing facing up, we need to go we need to go to the left. So let's let's turn Steve left. And we're that won't put him at the tree. We're gonna need one, two, oh, three move forwards again. All right, this is starting to feel familiar. Well, maybe we can, no, okay, well, that's fine. Okay, so let's, one, two, three move forward, and then we'll need to try destroying the block, I think, is that right? Hmm, okay, yeah, let's, let's try it. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's reset Steve. All right, so we have all our trees back. And let's run. Steve moves forward, got the tree. Okay, we got the other tree, turn left. And we got this tree, excellent. All right, so we completed puzzle four. All right, so we wrote 14 lines of code. All together, we've written 39. I did have fun with that puzzle, so that was good. Let's take a look at our code. Ooh, we got a lot of code this time. We got our move forward, our destroy block, our turn. Hmm, do you guys notice something here? This section is exactly the same as this section. Okay, and then this one is the same as this one, which is the same as this one. Okay, so this is a bad thing in programming. When you see something like this in programming, that means you have an opportunity to do what we call refactoring, which means making your code simpler. You don't ever want to repeat code like this if you can help it. So maybe in later puzzles, we'll get to learn how to not do that. Maybe there's a way that we can tell the computer or we can tell Steve 
how to do something multiple times without having to repeat ourselves over and over again. Hmm, that could be kind of fun. Let's see, I forgot to look. Did we complete it in the right number of blocks? We did. We did it in 15 blocks. So that's excellent. All right, so I have a challenge for you guys. Leave your solution down in the comments if you get this. Get the trees in the reverse order. Start at the left tree and then move to your right around and get the trees. I want to see your solutions. Can you do it? I hope you can. So next time we'll take a look at puzzle number five and six. So I hope you'll join me next time for episode three. See you then.